Hi guys, this is Hannah Loves Books, and today I'm going to do my June wrap-up. I read seven or eight books this month. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to figure it out. I had a good reading month for <laughs> being on vacation and being away and being out most of the time. So, yeah, so let's just get right into it. And I actually had an amazing reading month. Like, oh my goodness, did I read some amazing books. But yeah, let's just get into it. The first book that I read in June um, was is now one of my favorite books, and it's called Between Shades of Grey, and it's by Ruta... Ruta Sepetis. I really don't know how to pronounce her last name. I will put the cover here. I got it off the library because my sister read it um, in May and she was going off all about it and how she loved it and stuff. So she told me I had to read it and I was like, I'm a reader. I have to read this book. And it was so good. It is about this girl. It takes place in 1941 and this girl, she gets taken her and her family get taken by the Soviet officers to a prison camp and it's her surviving and it's her story traveling there and living there and her it was just it was so sad the story is so sad but so incredibly amazing I can't say I enjoyed it because it's not an enjoyable read it's very real it, even though it's not a, an actual true story it still happened to people and it's so incredibly sad but I, it was such an amazing read, and I think everyone should read it. It's just, oh, it was really good. Five out of five stars. After that, I decided to pick up Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> I've picked this up a couple times and not been able to get into it when I was younger, but I picked it up now. I'm like, this is my time. This is my time to read Harry Potter, and I absolutely th flew through it and loved it. I loved the characters, I loved the story, and it just brought me back into the Harry Potter world, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it so much. It made me so happy, and I loved it. I it five stars, obviously. Okay, next book. I think I heard of this from Benjamin of Tomes, and it's called The Artisans. I got it on my Kindle, but I got it because it is a Beauty and Beast retelling, and you guys know I have a little soft spot for retellings, and definitely if it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I. It's about this girl. And, let me see if I can explain this right. Her dad gets into trouble and he owes a lot of money because he is a, addicted to gambling. And I gave this book a 3 stars, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I liked it, but I... Okay, I liked this book, but it wasn't amazing. It didn't grip me as much as I wanted it to. I really wanted to love it, but I didn't love it. It was it was good, though. It was entertaining and an entertaining read. I just didn't love the romance. I didn't feel like it was really realistic. I didn't, I didn't find any way how they could have been together. They didn't match. They didn't match up to me. It just didn't... It wasn't cute to me. Her dad owes a lot of money, and he is going to to this very rich person who everyone is kind of scared of, this family. Um, and so he has to be taken to prison or maybe even killed for owing this much money. And I think he ruined something. I don't remember exactly what happened. See, it's not a re memorable book. Um, so she goes to him and she pleads her case and she's like, I'll do anything for you if you just let my father live and not go to prison. And so he's like, well, then you're gonna have to live with me and help me because he wants designs and she's an artist, artisan. Yeah, their story, and it's actually a paranormal aspect to it also, which I was not expecting and I didn't really care for. It was okay. It just, it all didn't really go well with the story. I don't know. Next book I read this month was The Cellar by Natasha Preston. I've been talking about this because I've been really excited to read this. I actually read this on the plane ride to my, on my vacation, and I, um, but it didn't, I, it took me a while. It took me like a couple days to read this not just the plane ride because it is a pretty thick book um so this is about a girl named lily and she gets kidnapped by a man and taken to a cellar and she finds in the cellar three other people and this guy he renames her lily and he says you're lily and the other three girls in there are rose poppy and violet and his name is clover and so they change he changed his name because he wants this perfect family like flowers he wants like a perfect family and how flowers are perfect he renamed them after flowers it was really creepy but like not in the way 
Like it wasn't that way, but it just didn't feel realistic. It felt like really like someone was writing this and didn't know what they were really talking about. I'm sorry, Natasha. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just don't like Natasha's writing. Um, it just wasn't my favorite book. It just, it didn't do it for me. They do cover dark topics, just warning you, like abuse happens in this and there's a lot of killing, but it didn't hurt me. Like it didn't affect me in any way because it didn't feel real. I gave this a 2.5. <gasps> My books? Okay, so I had a good reading month or just like a eh, reading month. And I read From a Distant Star by Karen McQuestion. And I actually had a hard time getting through this book. So let me just tell you what it's about. It's about this girl and her boyfriend, her love of her life, is dying of a sickness of cancer. And he is pretty much on his deathbed, about to die. And he mir miraculously comes back to life. But, like, he gets better. He heals. He gets healed. But he's not the same person as she fell in love with. And he's she's a, he's a different person. So that's all I'm telling you. I'm not going to get into it. I didn't really like it. I thought the concept sounded really interesting. And I heard a lot of people haul this and stuff. I didn't really care for it. I, I found it a little boring. I didn't really connect with the characters. Um, like, it wasn't bad but it wasn't great either it just I felt when I finished it I felt very unsatisfied and kind of just like oh, okay all right eh. I gave this one a three out of five stars I picked up I couldn't wait any longer I picked up the chamber of secrets by Harry Potter what <laughs> no <laughs> I picked up Harry Potter and the chamber of secrets by JK Rowling and I like this one I think even more I just love them all so it's I love them both. I've only read two. I may have read three by the time I post this. But yeah, it was just super good. I loved it. <sighs> it's just so entertaining. Five out of five stars. After that, I read another book that I really, really enjoyed and I could not stop reading. Was Lux um, Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armstrong, and this is in the Lux series, and I finally got to this, um, and I read the whole book, and that's where I ended, and I still have Onyx to read, and the other two, three books, yeah. <laughs> um, I really love this, the characters are so great, so funny, this book is just so funny. Okay, I do have to admit, the romance is a little, a lot, <laughs> like a little a lot, yeah, it was a lot, it, it was... Mm kind of like they don't even like each other really in this book what are they gonna do when they like each other you know what I mean I just I could I couldn't yeah mm -hmm. I still really love the characters I love how sassy they are this did remind me a lot like a lot a lot like Twilight obviously um because everyone says that but of course I loved it much more than Twilight <laughs> I gave this a 4.25 and then I thought Damien was a little like mm -hmm. I liked him like I like him I can't help but like him but still he was a little like overly cocky mm. I know he's probably gonna get better I hope he gets better in the next books to come but he annoyed me a couple times in this book I hope you guys enjoyed what was your favorite book you read this month mine was either the Harry Potter books that I read or um, between shades of gray what is your favorite book you read in June bye guys